The science fiction thriller, The Butterfly Effect, this is one of my favorite movies from Ashton Kutcher. Is this one perfect? Of course not. But even 20 years later, this one, it is still entertaining. This is quite the time traveling movie, even though there are some flaws within this one that kept it being better in my opinion. So the story of this one is that it follows a college student named Evan Trayborn, who had experienced blackouts and memory loss when he was a child. When he finds out that he actually traveled back in time to inhabit his former self during those periods of blackouts, then Evan attempts to change the present by changing his past behaviors and making things better for not only himself, but also his friends. But there are consequences for his actions for meddling with the timeline multiple times all throughout this one. This is a film that is still talked about to this day. Are there plot holes? Of course. Is the character development weak? Absolutely. But what I really like about the overall story is that it's very intriguing. Evan is just this ordinary guy, but when he learns he can time travel, he does what a lot of people would do in that situation. That is, change their own past for a better future. Hence the title, Butterfly Effect. You can't change one thing without changing everything. And that's why this film is so enjoyable. Just looking at Evan's actions and his attempts to change the past for a better future. Well, it don't always work out because something bad always happens every time he time travels to his younger self. Now, when it comes to the characters, Evan, he is the most intriguing. Not just because of his ability to travel through time, but how he never seems to learn his lesson. His father said best. You can't change people who they are without destroying who they were. I think that is a brilliant line because Evan, he goes through all these timelines and his friends have better or worse lives. There's even a timeline in this film where Evan is a part of a fraternity. And he does all this just so he can be with the love of his life, Kaylee. I thought Amy Smart did a great job. Her chemistry with Ashton Kutcher is actually really great. It's seeing them happy together in that timeline, even if it was for a brief moment. Now, this movie does have some dark moments. And the original ending for this film is when Evan goes back in time and ends up taking his own life when he's in his mom's womb. I mean, talk about dark. Like, seriously, I'm glad they changed that for the theatrical release because the theatrical release has more of a bright, upbeat start. Or should I say the climax of that film is more upbeat because number one, Evan is alive. Even though he'll never end up being with Kaylee ever again, he realized that her life is better off without him. Not only that though, but I thought the other characters such as Tommy or Lenny, they don't add much to the plot. They're there and the actors that betray them, they're all right. And then there's Evan's mom, Andrea. She don't add much to the plot either, but she's there. And one thing I would say is that it is pretty interesting just to see all of these other timelines. How Evan, he, you know, goes through all of this madness just so he can try to fix things. But until he finally sells on that ending where he's better off without Kelly. The theatrical ending that is. But overall, as a character piece, Seeing Evan go throughout these blackouts, knowing that that was his future self doing that, actually, it was done real well. Just the editing of all that, just how Evan, he goes through so much in this film. Now, I know there's a sequel to this, but I heard awful things about it. So I might not ever check it out because in no way does it relate to Evan's character. In fact, the third film in itself doesn't even follow Evan whatsoever either. So it's like this was the only movie that really mattered in terms of the story. At the end of the day, a film that I highly enjoy. And still, while it has some plot holes here and there and some, well, writing that's not the greatest in terms of the character development of the other main characters that are not Evan or Kaylee. Even 20 years later, it's quite the interesting science fiction film to say the least. I'm giving this film a seven out of 10. Now I always found this one decent over the years. It's just that I wish the story could have been a little bit better in my opinion. Now Evan as a character, he is likable. He is a good guy, but he makes a lot of mistakes. I get it, he's human. 
He's supposed to make all these mistakes, so we as the audience can root for him to have a happier ending. Even though it doesn't end too well if you look at the director's cut like I mentioned earlier, but it is still entertaining and a piece of cinema I go back and rewatch every once in a while. Plus, with memories being one of the main themes in this film, it's important for us to remember our past because without that, they wouldn't have shaped who we are as individuals today. And that is my review of The Butterfly Effect. Alright, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.